Hi guys! Welcome po sa Hugot Sip na yan. This is Sir JV, your mat kahugot, and welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa topic natin for today, I'm going to discuss to you about the last topic for the week 9 of MALC for grade 8. So we have problem solving involving system of linear equation. So now we're going to use guys yung 3 method na pinag-aralan natin which is graphical method, elimination method, and substitution method sa pag-solve ng mga problem involving system of linear equation. Tara guys, tingnan po natin itong mga problem na to. Para po sa part 1 ng ating problem solving, we're going to have part 1 sales and age problem. So marami pong problem na involve ang system of linear equation. So, ngayon, ang bibigyan pa si natin ay yung dalawa, which is sales at saka po age problem. Now, our objective, guys, as, as I have told you, to solve problem involving linear equation in two variables using the graphical method, the substitution method, and elimination method. So, yun po yung ating main objective. Now, we're going to have our first plum problem, which is the sales problem. So, basahin po natin ang ating problem. So, Sunny sell 20 tickets for a fundraising event. The ticket are in two kinds. So, meron tayong 200 peso ticket at meron tayong 100 peso ticket. And all tickets are, uh, the, if all tickets are sold, will be, you will get a 2,500 Peso. So, how many each kind he has sold? So, ito yung ating hanapin. So, we're looking for ilan yung 200 pesos na ticket at ilan yung 100 pesos na ticket. So, all in all, meron tayong 20 tickets. So, guys, in solving problem, syempre, we will start on the process themselves. Na kung paano tayo mong solve. Usually, yung problem natin, noong tayo nasa elementary pa. So, start tayo, syempre, Hanapin muna natin yung mga key concept sa problem natin. So ito yung mga consider natin. Una guys, yung total number ng ticket, which is 20 tickets. Yung dalawang uri ng ticket, which is the 200 peso tickets at yung 100 peso tickets. At syempre, yung total amount kapag binenta mo na yung ticket, which is 200 Sorry, 2,500 pesos. So, ang ating goal natin dito guys ay mag-formulate ng dalawang equation out of the given item natin. At ito yung makakatulong sa atin para masolve natin yung problem na to. So, before we have those equations, so start muna tayo sa representation. So, having our problem guys, we're going to represent X as the number of the 200 peso tickets. At ang Y naman natin yung number ng mga 100 peso tickets. So, all in all guys, meron tayong X for the 200 peso tickets. Meron tayong Y for the 100 peso tickets. So, base dun sa mga nakuha natin detalye out of the given problem, dun tayo magbubuo ng ating mga equation. Now, we're going to formulate our equation based on the essential details na diniscuss natin kanina. Siyempre, i-discuss muna natin yung number of tickets. So, we have an X and Y. So, X ay para sa 200 peso ticket at Y naman para sa 100 peso ticket. So, all in all guys, parang pag in natin siya, kasi ang total number ng tickets ay 20, mag doon natin mabubuo yung ating first equation na X plus Y equals to 20. Which is yung X at Y na pinag add natin may 20 tickets. Kung saan ang total number ng tickets ay yung 20 tickets guys, ang hinahanap natin dito kung ilan ba talaga yung X ticket o yung 200 peso ticket at yung Y ticket which is the 100 peso ticket so, napasin natin so, X plus Y equals to 20 first equation ngayon, ang second equation ang hinahanap natin so, out of the sale guys so, pag binumultiply man natin yung number ng ticket sa cost niya, doon nalabas yung sale so, X times 200 Ito ay 200 times X. Ito yung pinagbentahan mo sa 200 peso ticket. Yung Y times 100 naman, 
o uh, 100 Y, ito naman yung pinagbentahan mo para do sa 100 peso ticket. Pag in mo yung dalawang iyon, yung to, dalawang sales mo from the X ticket and the Y ticket, doon nalabas yung 2,500. At doon guys, mabubuo yung mga nating equation, which is X plus Y equals to 20 para sa total number ng ticket at 200X plus 100Y equals to 2,500 para naman sa total number ng sales. So, meron na tayong dalawang equation. Now, so solve na natin to. So, solution for the problem. Siyempre, we're going to solve them using the elimination method. Kung guys, kung hindi kayo nahihirapan sa elimination method, meron akong problem dito o meron ako dito ng video sa aking channel para ma mas malaman ninyo kung ano yung tinatawag nating elimination method. And make sure, alam nyo po yun before you continue with our problem. Para syempre, hindi kayo malito. di ba? Now, let's continue with the problem. Kung meron tayong dalawang equation na x plus y equals to 20 at 200x plus 100y equals to 2,500, we're going to solve them using our elimination method. So, dito guys, so, number one rule ng elimination method, maghahanap ka ng number na pwedeng i-multiply sa one equation para mag-equal sila. So, yun po ang ginawa ko dito. So, since ang gagamit kong process ay addition para mag-cancel out, nag-multiply na ng negative 200 sa x natin. Since, guys, dito, ang ating 200 dito, 200 dito ang x niya sa second equation natin. So, I'm going to multiply negative 200 sa ibabaw para makancel out natin using addition. Kung meron na tayong negative 200 na multiply ito po ang magiging equation natin. So, we have negative 200x minus, neg, uh, minus 200y equals to negative 4,000. Now, we will proceed to our process which is addition. Pag in po natin yan, our process addition, mga cancel out natin yung x. Since naman yung primary reason natin, kung bakit multiply yung negative 200. So, let's try to add the remaining item. We have negative 200y plus 100y is a negative 100y. In terms of the uh, negative 4,000 uh, plus 2,500, may malitara tayo yung 1,500. So, para makancel out natin guys, yung negative 100, i-divide natin sa whole equation. So, negative 1,500 divided by a negative 100 is definitely a 15. So, ibig sabihin guys, meron na tayong 15 tickets para sa ating 100 peso ticket. ba? Diba? Now, if we're done with that guys, kung, kung kayo ay medyo nadadalian sa problem na to, We will continue with elimination method para sa ating value for uh, x para sa x naman. So ngayon mag-cancel naman tayo ng y para makuha natin ang x. So same solution guys. Kung i-multiply natin ay negative 200 para sa x. Ngayon naman negative 100. So bakit negative 100? Kasi 100y po ang kakancelin natin. So same item guys. So it will turn out to be a negative 100x minus 100y equals to negative 2,000. So, we will add them, guys. Pag in po natin, makakansal out yung negative 100y at saka 100y. So, we will proceed to the process of addition. So, 200x minus 100x ay 100x tapos 2,500 plus negative 2,000 ay 500. All in all, we have x as our 5. So, ang 200 peso tikas natin guys ay 5. So, kung isipin natin guys sa mabuti, kung may 15 tikas na tayo sa nauna, sa y natin, automatic yon kung 20, total natin number ay 20 tickets, 15, ah sorry, 20 minus 15 ay 5, which is our x ngayon. So, tamang tama po yan. Ngayon guys, ito po yung elimination method. At syempre, after solution natin, magkakamiran tayo guys ng conclusion. So, our conclusion, Sunny sold 
200 peso tickets and 15 100 peso tickets which the cost is 2,500 pesos. Yun po yung ginawa nating problem ngayon. So, I hope naintindihan nyo po itong sales problem na to. So, ang guys, tandaan niyo ang ating reason lagi o ang ating kailangan hanapin lagi ay mag-construct tayo ng dalawang equation out of our given problem. So, we'll start with representation syempre, formulating your equation, your solution, and syempre, guys, yung conclusion. Yung checking, guys, yun po ay ano na lamang, uh, optional. If you could check it using uh, by substitution, pwede yung pwede po. Diba? So, that is our sales problem. So, guys, that is an example of a sales problem. Now, we'll continue with our next problem, which is an age problem. So, tandaan nyo guys, ang ating primary purpose for solving linear equation in two variables ay laging maghanap ng dalawang equation na pwede nating maging system. Let's proceed with the age problem. So, ngayon, kung nakita nyo, may mother and child dyan. So, actually, we're looking for the age of a mother and an age of her son. So, age problem po tayo. So, mother is three times as old as her son. Ten years from now, mother will be two times or twice as old as her son. How old are they now? So, yun po yung ating problem ngayon. So, examining guys, syempre examining natin, may mga importanteng detalye dyan. Una guys, yung age nila in the present, which is the mother is three times as old as her son at the present. Okay? So, next sentence natin, 10 years from now, mother will be two times as old as her son. Ito po yung future age. So, out of that given context, we're going to formulate our representation and, syempre, our equation. So, let us represent. So, dito, we're going to have y as the age of the mother, and x as the age of the sun. So, bakit daw po? Gagamitin natin guys yung y kasi yung y uh, lahat ng age ng mother ay nakadepende sa age ng sun. So, gagawin natin itong substitution method. We're going to use the two equation na makakuha natin to use it on the substitution method kasi mas madaling magagawa to. So, try natin gawin ang ating equation. For our equation, guys, we're going to have the first statement, which is their present age. Huwag kayo ma-confuse, guys, ha? Yung uh, three times as old as her son, ito po yung present age. So, yun po yun, y equals to 3x. So, ang y, ang age ng mother, ang x ang age ng, her, ng kanyang son. So, meron tayong first equation. Sa so, second equation natin, guys, ito po yung future this is the future age of the of both of them. So, yung po ay y plus 10 equals to 2 times x plus 10. So, bakit nagkaganun guys? May plus 10 at saka ba't ganito yung equation nyo guys? Kasi, we're looking for the future. Yung age ng mother plus the 10 years. Okay? Ngayon, ang sabi daw, 2 times of their age uh, in the future. Kaya po naging x plus 10 which is a quantity of 2. Sabihin, yung, yung 10 years na guys, parang na twice na rin siya. So, in the, in the middle, uh, in the problem itself, so, mother is twice as old as her son. Okay? Hindi pwede guys yung 2x plus 10 lang. Mali po yun, kasi pag maging 2x plus 10, parang, ang mangyari dyan guys, yung edad niya, ay dadadadam mo lang ng 10 years. So, panadadadam mo lang ng 10 years yung edad ng mother niya, tsaka yung edad mo. Mali po yun. Dapat isasama mo yung 10 years na yun. Since siya yung magdudugsong ng 10 years sa edad nila. Okay? Why in terms of X na yung kanilang problem, guys? So, pwede ka mag dito mag-solution ng substitution method. So, ang gagawin natin, since yung Y naman ay common sa kanilang dalawa at naka-equal na agad, pwede tadong paltan. So, yung Y natin dito, guys, papaltan ko ng 3X lang. Okay? So, ipinagtang ko lang yung y ng 3x. 
Kaya nangyari dito, yung y na yun, naging 3x plus 10 equals to 2 times the quantity x plus 10. Okay? Kung ganun ang mangyayari, guys, we're going to uh, continue with our solution now. So, 3x plus 10 equals to 2 times the quantity x plus 10. So, kung ganyan naman yung solution natin, guys, it will become 3x plus 10 equals to 2x plus 20 since dinistribute natin yung 2 sa whole equation. 2 times x ay 2x, 2 times 10 is 20. O, diba? So, pwede tayo mag-solve. Ngayon, inilipat na naman si 10 sa kabilang side at si 2x on the other side. Ano ang rule ulit yung guys? Additive property of equality o additive inverse property. Kailangan guys, kapag ikinag-a-add ng isang number o nag-equate ka ng isang number kapag gusto mo siyang ilipat sa other side, babagoy mo yung sign. Okay? So, nilipat ko yung 10 sa other side by, by putting its negative. Si 2x naman, nilipat ko sa kabila by putting its negative. From 2x na positive, naging negative 2x. From 10 na positive, naging negative 10. Okay po? Now, so 3x minus 2x is definitely an x. And 20 minus 10 is definitely a 10. Ngayon guys, yun ang edad ng kanyang anak ngayon, 10 years old. Eh ngayon, ano ang magiging edad ng kanyang anak? So, since ah, ng kanyang mother, since ang kanyang anak ay 10 years old, ang mother niya ay 30 years old. Okay po ba? So, ibig sabihin, ang edad po ng kanyang mother ay 30 years old, ang kanyang anak ay 10 years old. So, ngayon, guys, we're going to have our conclusion. So, the conclusion is said, based on the problem, the age of the mother and her son is 30 years old and 10 years old, respectively. So, yun po yung ating maging sagot sa ating problem. So, 10 years from now, ano magiging edad noong bata at saka nung mother niya? Magiging 40 years old siya at magiging 20 years old. So, tamang-tama, after 10 years, ang edad po nila ay doble naman. Guys, I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, guys, kindly follow me uh, in this page. Hugot sip na yan, mga kasip na yan. Welcome po. Okay? So, God bless you on my next video. You may follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And also, my two YouTube account, which is Behind Your Life TV, for my traveling vlog, guys. Sana po supportahan nyo yung traveling vlog ko. So, may, ano lang ngayon, COVID. So, sana po, you're getting well, guys. At saka, ma, maayos po kayo. At kayo ay patuloy na nahihiba ka laban sa COVID-19 para po sa ating mga sudyante at para rin sa ating pamilya. So, yun po, medyo napigil lang yung pag-travel ko. So, behind real TV po yan. Matik na matik po yan. Akit bundok, kung saan-saan pa, gala, food trip. Uh, yun po, ginagawa ko din yan. At syempre, I'm Hugot Sip Naya, which is our mathematics channel. So, I hope you learned something from this video, guys. So, ingat po, God bless, and see you on my next video, guys. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Ingat!